Hey guys, this is Alka1093 and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Discussion number 2. Last week I did number 1 with Kamai Tachi and that went really well. Got a really good response from many viewers, got a lot of views as well, so I'm going to keep on doing this and go into number 2. And what is the card that I have selected for today? Yeah, it's not really a surprise huh? it's right in the title. Arewario, number 42, Starship Galaxy, Tomahawk. Sorry guys, when it's an accused monster I got in the Japanese chance, you should know me by now. Anyway, um, number 42, Starship Galaxy Tomahawk, that's its uh, translated Japanese name, English name is not confirmed yet, but it is a machine type wind attribute Xyz monster, rank 7, requires 2 materials, and its effect is the following, you can detach 2 Xyz materials from this card, special summon as many battle eagle tokens, Machine type wind level six attack two thousand defense zero as possible. They are destroyed at the end of this turn. Also, your opponent takes no battle damage for the rest of this turn. Now, Starship Tomahawk isn't exactly an attacker. It doesn't have any attack points zero, and it has three thousand defense points. Now, I know that with the new um, Phantom Beastcraft uh, archetype, the new wind archetype that's coming in. Um, What's this set called again? I keep forgetting its name. Um, Lord of the Tachyon Gallic? Yeah, that's it. I know that the Phantom Beastcrafts don't have that much trouble in getting out rank 7s. So you just need one token and two level 4s. And then they increase the level by the level of the token, and the tokens are usually level 3. So then, you overlay them into this guy. And you detach both of its Xyz materials, meaning you can only use its effect once. And then you special summon as many Battle Eagle tokens as possible. So if you have no other monsters on your side of the field, other than uh, Galaxy Tomahawk, then you're summoning four tokens. Now here's the issue. That would be cool. Four monsters that you can... That just have 2,000 attack and then boom, 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 boom. But the opponent doesn't take any battle damage for the rest of the turn. You, it doesn't say you can't attack. So if the opponent still has monsters then you can still just destroy them by battle. just won't take any damage, or if they have defense position monsters, you can still get rid of those with the tokens. But they won't take any damage. So any uh, tokens that can still attack after all the monsters of the opponent have been destroyed won't be able to do much because you can't deal with battle damage. And then, at the, end of, at the end of the turn, they are destroyed. So what to do about that? Well, let's say you have your two... Um, materials for Galaxy Tomahawk already in the field. You haven't XC summoned just yet, and you haven't normal summoned that turn either. And then you normal summon Deep Sea Diva, a level 2 tuner. And when that this card is normal summoned, you can special summon a level 3 or lower Sea Serpent type monster from your deck. Deep Sea Diva herself is a Sea Serpent and level 2, so that's level 3 or below. So you normal summon Deep Sea Diva, and special summon a second Deep Sea Diva to the field, getting you two of those. Then, you XC summon into Galaxy Tomahawk. Well, technically you could XC summon into Tomahawk first, and then normal summon Deep Sea Diva. The important thing is that you get Deep Sea Diva out before you activate the effect and summon the tokens. Because if you read the effect correctly, it says special summon as many Battle Eagle tokens as possible. So if you do it with just Tomahawk on the field, then you summon four tokens, and then there's no place in, uh, no place left to summon Deep Sea Diva. So summon Deep Sea Diva before you use the effect. Get out another Diva. Then you use the effect and get out two tokens. Because with Tomahawk on the field and two Divas, you'll have two spots left. You summon two Battle Eagle tokens, both level six. Now, instead of just attacking with the tokens, they're level 6. They may not be able to be used as Xyz materials, but they can, however, be used as synchro materials, these tokens. So if you take Deep Sea Diva, a level 2 tuner, and then synchro it with a level 6 non-tuner, which are the tokens, then you can get some quite good... Um, uh, level 8 synchros out. Now we just go on DN and level 8 synchro and for the hell of it I'm gonna place this deck right here. But you know I'm just gonna write new deck because otherwise it's gonna be distracting. 
you can get out quite a lot of different level 8 synchros. Of course, a couple of them, like uh, Barcha, you won't be able to summon it, or uh, Valkyries, you won't be able to summon it, the Gene Axe, Junk Destroyer, uh, Livestream. There's a couple that you won't be able to summon. Well, you, you will be able to summon a good amount. And it's a wind attribute, um, so you won't be able to summon, like, Dark End Dragon either, which is unfortunate anyway, but not many people use Dark End Dragon anyway. But there's quite a few um, synchros that you can get out. Colossal Fighter would you want, but if you run Deep Sea Diva and Karsak like and Summer Tomahawk, you probably don't have that many warriors. If you do, uh, tell me. Crimson Blader is quite the fun card. I haven't used it much, don't use it often, but it can be useful. Same for Blood Mayfist. Um, but the most often used cards in level 8 synchro are Scrap Dragon and the Stardust Dragon. And they are both generic... Um, level 8 synchros, and you can use, like, get one Stardust Dragon out with one t uh, token and Deep Sea Diva for protection, and then get Scrap Dragon out for some destruction at destruction action, which is really good. So that's also a way that you can use number 42 Starship Galaxy Tomahawk. And as I said, you can use them as synchro material, but you cannot use them as Xyz material. Now, why not? Some people do not understand this, why that was made part of the rulings for tokens. Well, the thing is, tokens cannot exist outside of the field. So when a token is placed on the field and it is destroyed, well then it's just destroyed and you take it off the field and that's it. But if a token is banished or returned to the hand or anything, they're still destroyed and they're gone. Return to hand, like with compulsory evacuation device on a token, the token will leave the field. Not return to hand, because a token cannot exist in the hand. It cannot exist anywhere but on the field. And when it's used as an Xyz material for an Xyz summon, a token, well, that Xyz material, those do not count as being on the field. It does, Xyz materials are not considered on the field. And since, and since tokens cannot exist anywhere but on the field, y they, you cannot use them as Xyz material. If you would, this would have been quite the broken effect. You just have to somehow get cards together that can have two level 7s and you go into Tomahawk. Then you use the effect to get four level 6 tokens out, then overlay them like two times two level 6s, and you can get out like Bouncer, for one, and, I don't know, Insector Exa Beetle, if there's a big monster in the graveyard or something. I don't know. There's some quite good rank 6s out there. But that's not possible. That would have been quite the broken effect, would that have been the case. But then, the effect would likely have been different, and said, you cannot use these cards, at these tokens as Xyz material. But yeah, that's uh, number 42, Starship Galaxy Tomahawk. Tell me what you think, and if you know of any combos that are possible to be used with uh, Tomahawk. As I said, just attack with them and then we'll let them be destroyed and have this guy use as a defense shield with 3000 defense. Or you use something like Deep Sea Diva and Synchro with them into Scrap Dragon and Stardust for protection because you can still do that and then Scrap and Stardust won't be destroyed. What do you think? What do you think number 42 Starship Galaxy Tomahawk will be useful for? Can you name some combos that I haven't thought of yet? I'd like to hear. And while you go do that, I'm going to continue doing schoolwork and making more dual videos. Alright? Does that sound good? Alright. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.